Well, we're so busy talking here, I'm almost forgetting to introduce my next guest, who is a very busy mother of two, a successful businesswoman. She is the vice chairman and creative director of the Fashion House, uh, Ellie Tahari, and uh, her secret to staying organized is making lists, which inspired her to write a very interesting book, Lists for Life, The Essential Guide to Getting Organized and Tackling Tough To-Dos. Please welcome my friend Rory Tahari. So nice to have you here. When you, when you put this on my desk um, a, a while ago, I went through and I said, you know what, she thinks just like I think, lists after lists after lists. And once you make some templates, uh, you really are prepared, right? Well, I have to first say, I think you were a big inspiration for me. Uh, I was? So, <laughs> yeah. Well, you're, Absolutely. you have a very, very busy life, and I think that everything that you talk about in here um, is really important for all of us. If uh, We're so busy, and we're so... Uh, and, and you can get very stressed out if you're not organized. Yeah, you get pressed for time, oh, yeah. and you really want to find a way to manage your life and feel like you're in control. Right. So uh, talk talk about the list. We um, we have uh, lists for what? Okay, so we'll talk about home. Okay. So um, you and I are. Uh, a addicted to laminating things. So we have uh, a checklist for household contacts. So whether it's your Just child's- like this. Right, so whether it's your child's pediatrician or the plumber, it's really important to have one master list of right. every phone number you need for your house. Um, and so this should be printed out. Um, can we print this up from your app? No. Not yet. Not oh, yet. Hurry that could up. be coming soon. <laughs> okay. So this is a really great. So you can make your own list. I mean, but you follow Absolutely. you follow all but the But the list is in the book. Yes, yeah. So um yeah, this this is everything. Your your father emergency dry cleaner garage. Yeah, excellent. Now you have Mother. you have a house in New York, you have a house out in the Hamptons, so you have yeah. these lists in all places, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So this is a home contact list of vendors. So these are people that you rely on for electricity, for air conditioning, exactly. telephone. Yeah, but if your yeah. lights go out then you need to uh, call the electric company. Well, that happens all the time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know it does. I call them all the, uh, all the time. Housekeepers, landscapers, locksmiths, Wildlife rescue. Yeah. See, because yeah. what did you get a raccoon stuck in your attic? Um, no, I think it was something a little scarier than that, but oh. we won't go there. Oh, like what? A skunk? Um, yeah, something like that. A bear? <laughs> <laughs> We've had to call. We had a raccoon and uh, mother and all her babies living above my daughter's bedroom. In the oh, ceiling. Oh, I remember you telling me that I story. Know, yeah. In the ceiling. Yeah. And uh, we had to get the wildlife rescue because we didn't want to kill them or do anything bad or starve them or anything. So they were all. Yeah, I can see the headlines now. Martha Stewart right. kills. Uh, oh, yeah. no. no. They terrible. all were gently yeah. taken to the woodland. I'm sure you so did. So pregnancy tips. What about what about your, your list for pregnancy? You have to... Well, I tell everybody make sure you take pictures of yourself. Everybody always says, oh, I feel fat. I don't want to see pictures of myself. But you'll regret I think we have it later. a picture of Rory. Do yeah, we, have a we do. Pic? We do. Yeah, there. Who's that? Your that's so, right, yeah, oh, good. he's kissing my <laughs> belly. It's my son Jeremy inside. And they're in your bikini. And they're in my bikini with my best friend Angelique, and she's super skinny, as you can see. And just to see the, you know, the disparity between the size of me and I gained 50 pounds oh, with my wow. child, so I gained a lot of weight. Oh. But it looks so, good, and and uh, looks and, good. and you can show that to your little your little child and say, "This is this is mommy with you," and, and uh, this is what you did to my stomach, right? <laughs> and a little muffin top. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, but the other thing too, I tell I, I tell everybody, make sure you buy a newspaper from the day your child was born, but assign it to somebody else because you'll be a little busy in labor. Right. I actually ended up giving birth at home, so I had the newspaper sitting at home. Oh, good. So uh, you but it's, put it in the folder. Yeah, tell your mom, your dad, a friend, make sure they buy it for you. Do you keep everything in files or in boxes, or how do you, how do you store well, two, all this stuff? Well, two things. I like to keep it two ways. I like to keep it electronic. I like to scan things uh, to preserve it, but right. I also keep um, it in a, a keepsake box in an acid-free cover That's because newspapers excellent. can, as you know, disintegrate. Now, travel is another thing that all of us are always looking for the really good travel list, what not to forget at home when you're on your way somewhere. Well, I was recently traveling, and I, I was in Spain, in fact, and uh, credit card companies are really adamant, or not adamant, but they're very aggressive about any possibility of fraudulent charges, so alert your credit oh, card companies that you're traveling, even if it's a different state, or they'll cut you off, right. and while you're in the middle of your trip, then you're not going to have a credit card. Right. 
Yeah. Another, that, that has happened to me. Yeah. yeah. And then another thing that I do that you and I share in common is that I immediately, when I get home from a trip, make a, a photo album and I use Shutterfly.com, oh. which Martha has designed a million amazing pages for. Uh, so uh, I've actually made over a hundred different albums. Oh, that's so good. And yeah. you can just keep them in your library and they're there for a long, long time. Yeah. Really, yeah. really yeah. nice. And now we'll talk about your app because now, um, now Rory has made an app for the iPhone and what's it called? It's called Travel Packing List. Very Easy. straightforward. Yeah. Yep. And what do you it's sell it? What do you sell it for? $1.99. dollar ninety nine. And have you have you sold a lot? Uh, yes, it's been very popular, oh. not only in America but Japan and Europe. Fantastic. I don't know how they found out about it, but it's it's really uh, been people, very popular. People are using all so, kinds of apps, yeah. right? So so basically, um, this is what the app looks like, uh, the home screen. Mm -hmm. You have uh, five different categories. You have carry on, toiletries, electronics. And what's great about the app is that you can completely customize it. So I give you a starter template, but so for, you can fill in your own things. You can fill in yeah. your own things. Like oh, for great. example, if I forget my daughter's baby bear, we'd have a problem. Yes, of course. Right, <laughs> and then you can email yourself the list. So if you want to print it out or remind yourself of the things you want to make sure you pack, you have it. Well, this list for life is a really, really kind of essential tool for. Uh, home making, home keeping. Everyone in our audience is going home with a copy of this list for life. And uh, look for it uh, at the bookstore and on Amazon. And enjoy it. It'll keep you organized. Thank you so much, Rory. Thank it's you. Great. We'll be right back. Back with Rory Tahari, author of List for Life, The Essential Guide to Getting Organized and Tackling Tough To-Dos. Uh, an excellent book and uh, excellent reminders to all of us. Uh, she's going to take some questions from our audience. Who has a first question? Oh, right there. Hi. Hello, Martha. Hi. I'm Andrea. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. My question I'm from is... Atlanta. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, my question is, once you've compiled your to-do list, how do you go about prioritizing the to-do list? Well, last week someone called me and said, you know what, Rory, I have a new term for you. I'm going to call it prioritizing. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> so they were making fun of me. Uh, but the, the answer is there is no reality without a deadline. So when you have your master list, which I believe you should keep one list, make sure you prioritize it in terms of deadlines, due dates. Thank you. Hi, Rory. Hi, Martha. I'm Carolyn. I'm from New York. I'm a working mother, and my question is, how do you best organize and balance work and parenting? That is a good question. You know, it's funny. When I'm at work, I feel guilty, like I should be at home. When I'm at home, I feel guilty, I should be at work. I think the most important thing to do is think about a few things that are really, you remember from your childhood that were fond memories for you. I remember loving my mom driving me to school every day and we'd blast the radio and listen to great music. So I decided I want to make sure I want to, I take my daughter to school every day. And then I feel like I did something that makes me feel good that I did with my child and I'm not compromising feeling, you know, tied between work and you Has know, she your, ever said she doesn't want you yeah. to drive her? Never. Oh, good. We blast the music <laughs> all the time. One more question I think we have time for. Oh, we don't have any more time. So, Rory, thank you so much. You're thank a great you. guest. And uh, we will be right back. Next week on February the 13th, February, November the 13th, Rachel Ray is going to be here, and I'm going to teach her how to bake a pie. She says she doesn't do desserts well. Plus, our first ever holiday pie bake-off. So be sure to watch. Have a great weekend, everybody.